Inside Drake's $220 million private jet, Boeing 767-300F. He started out as an actor in the hit television series Degrassi, and he's now one of the top artists who can definitely say he started from the bottom and is now living lavishly on the ground and in the skies. Welcome back to another episode of The Luxurious. We take you right up close to the most expensive, most desired, and most luxurious things that the rich and wealthy spend their money on. Drake's net worth, sitting at $180 million, has been successful enough to be gifted a private jet from the Canadian Airlines cargo jet in exchange for publicity. Imagine it is that easy. Who knew God's plan would include flying for free? Imagine receiving one of the largest jets for free. Are you imagining it yet? Well, Cargo Jet gifted Drake a private jet in exchange for promotion. The private jet given to Drake is a converted Boeing 767-24QER, a former cargo plane. No, it's not new. It's actually about 24 years old and was originally built in the 90s. It measures about 180 feet long, sitting at 52 feet high, with a wingspan of 156 feet. The Boeing 767-23QER, now known as Air Drake, is large enough to seat 200 people, but with Drake's upscale modifications, it has about 30 seats. After the luxury customizations, the plane is worth $185 million, with some estimates reaching as high as $220 million. The exterior was originally painted white with Drake's OVO owl symbol in silver. The plane's engine has Air Drake written on it, while the tail includes a set of hands and prayer lapping over an image of a globe, which is possibly tied to Drake's religious beliefs. After a few modifications, Drake requested Virgil Abloh to design the exterior of Air Drake. The exterior is now painted sky blue with white clouds, including the original symbol still on the plane, but is now colored white instead of silver. Although the left wing now features Talia, the comedy mask, and underneath in white lettering, the plane reads, If you're reading this, we laughed, in reference to his 2015 album, If you're reading this, it's too late. If you think the exterior is nice, just wait until you see the interior. Upon entering the plane, we are welcomed by a quality living space with assorted couches, gold-lined tables to eat or drink at, and cream and dark purple leather chairs to also lounge in. The colors of the interior range from dark purple, gold, brown, mauve, and cream. There are two U-shaped velvet mauve couches and another velvet couch alongside the wall. There's even a large television that drops down from the ceiling. As we walk further into the plane, we will see a hallway with compartments lined with walls mirrored with a glossy gold leading into a bedroom with a king-size bed that has an in-suite bathroom. The room features a wall full of windows on one side and on the other side there is a wall full of mirrors. A comfortable king-size bed on a private jet. Wow, now that sounds a lot better than your average first-class seating. Now, past the first room, there is a private sitting area. Now, what could possibly make this private sitting room even better? A control console. It has the option to call for service, watch shows, control the music, and even get updates on the flight path. It's not your average sitting area. It's rather quite spacious and fits the lavish theme of Air Drake. Throughout the entire plane, there are mirrors outlined with gold LED lights, including another bathroom lined with gold trim, a full sink, and full-sized mirrors. It's no secret to Drake's desire to fly in style. Luckily, he can hop on his private jet at any time. I, too, would fly for free in exchange for publicity if it meant I could skip terminals and TSA. That's all we have to share for this episode, and we thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to press that like button and subscribe so that you can be the first to catch the next episode of The Luxurious. Don't miss out. See you next time.